It's one of the greatest honours in football to play for your country. Unfortunately for these players, they never managed an elusive international cap, despite being successful at a club level. Let's find out who they are. First up we have Paolo Di Canio. He had a very successful career playing in Britain and Italy. His most prolific time was at West Ham United where he scored 47 Premier League goals in 118 matches. Despite his fine form at the club level, he only made 9 international youth appearances without ever being called up to Italy's first team squad. Next up we have Stefan Kloss, another familiar face for Glasgow football fans. Despite playing around 300 matches for Borussia Dortmund, along the way winning two league titles and a Champions League, he never actually received a cap with Germany. Luckily for him, his career at club level was very successful. During his time in Scotland, he won a further four league titles and seven domestic cups. A product of the Atletico Madrid youth system, Gabby would make 400 first-team appearances with the club over two spells. During this time, he won six trophies, including two Europa Leagues. He was selected 19 times at the youth level, even appearing in an under-20 World Cup. But despite being amongst the better midfielders in La Liga, he was never once selected for his country. In all fairness, he was going up against Xavi Iniesta, Xavi Alonso, etc., so it's kind of understandable. Some people may disagree with me for my inclusion of Kevin Nolan, but for me, I think he was pretty unfortunate to not play for England. Between 2003 and 2006, Nolan only missed five Premier League games with Bolton, along the way scoring 22 goals for his club. Maybe he's another who came along at the wrong time, but I think it's often understated how impressive he was, especially as he played for one of the smaller teams. After breaking through with Vélez Sarsfield, Mauro Zarati took a rather unconventional path to Europe via the Qatari League. In 2008, he eventually arrived at Lazio and hit some fine form, ending the season as the club top goalscorer. This was definitely a high point in his career. The lows are probably better remembered by West Ham fans after the club signed him and he only managed five league goals in the next two years. Another similar to Gabby who arrived in Spain's midfield at the very wrong time, Mikel Arteta. In a career which lasted nearly two decades, he won trophies in Scotland, France and England. For the latter, he once threatened to go to war in order to represent them internationally. This never materialised. He retired with 42 youth caps, but not a single full international call-up. A true legend of West Ham United, Mark Noble. After spending almost his entire career with West Ham, he made 550 appearances, winning promotion from the championship twice. Impressively, he also managed 62 goals at the club. Not a bad return from midfield. He's another who played quite a lot of games at the youth level, for England under 21, 20 matches and 3 goals. But he could never quite manage a full cap before he retired in 2022. Whilst probably not quite as good as his brother Fabio, Paolo Cannavaro was still a very good Serie A defender. During a playing career which lasted nearly 20 years, he played 500 matches in the top flight. His best season probably came in 2011-12, as he helped Napoli to a cup victory. In 2007, he was called up by Roberto Donadoni for a friendly match against South Africa. He never made it onto the field, and thus qualifies for our list. Unfortunately for these guys, that international call never came. Who knows in the future who else could be added to this list? Thanks for watching this video.